Okay guys, how you doing? This is Mike aka Prime. So basically I'm doing another video on uh let's say if your browser is infected and you're getting a lot of pop-ups or you have like a, a infected home page that you can't get rid of. Uh this is uh basically you, what you'll do after you do all my scans from the previous video. Because I'm getting a lot of requests saying like I don't know how to uh remove the virus from the browser after I did all your steps. So uh, I'm gonna give you a guide on how to do that. Um so let's just get started. So as you can see, uh, if I open up Firefox, you see how it uh, it redirects me to this uh, bogus homepage. Same thing happens with uh, Google Chrome. It keeps redirecting me to this bogus homepage. So uh, what we want to do is we want to reset these uh, the browsers uh, by um, doing a full reset on the browser. So uh, the first thing what we want to do is you want to back up all your bookmarks if you have bookmarks. So I'm going uh, to show you guys how to back up uh, your Firefox bookmarks and your Google Chrome bookmarks. Um, so these steps work with uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, okay? So if you have these operating systems, this should work for you. So uh, let's open up Firefox. All right, so we want, I, I, you see in my uh, bookmark uh, toolbar here, I have a couple of bookmarks there. So I'm going to back up these. So the way to do that is uh, hit Alt, the Alt button on your keyboard, go to Bookmarks, then go to Show All Bookmarks. And from here, what you want to do is you want to hit uh, Import and Backup, and then Backup. Uh, so I kind of have one already, but I'm just going to override it. And then that's it. And then close that out. Now for the Google Chrome users, let's go into Google Chrome. Uh, hit the three lines. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to hover over bookmarks and then go to bookmark manager. In uh, let's wait for it to open up. Okay. In bookmark manager, you want to hit organize. Then you want to export, export bookmarks to HTML file. And then I'm gonna put that on my desktop as well. And then close it out. So once you back up all your bookmarks, uh, what you want to do is. Uh, you want to go to File, which is the folder uh, File Explorer down here. Uh, click on this computer. Go to uh, C Drive. All right, and then go to View here up top, and then go to Options, and then go to View again. Then make sure you have Show Hidden Files here, and then hit OK. All right, and now you want to go into users, whatever your user is, the username that you're logged into. Um, to find out what your username is, you can click on your start menu, and you'll have your username up top. Or um, uh, I don't know if you have multiple users. Just make sure you click on your certain user. So I'm I'm using Prime Workbench, so I'm gonna click on that. Uh, you go to App Data, then you go to Local. Now. First, what we're going to remove here is uh, Firefox. So uh, Firefox is labeled under Mozilla. So we want to delete this whole folder. So delete. All right. So it's gone. And this is for the Google Chrome people. You want to delete the whole Google folder. So right click, delete. Bam, that's out of there. Um, so now let's go into Roman. And then for the Firefox users, you want to right click and delete this folder as well. Google Chrome doesn't have this, so don't worry about it. Uh, so now let's go back to this computer. Go to C drive again. You want to go to program data. And then you want to find um, Firefox if it's here. See, I just, if you see yours here, just delete it if it's in there. Or if you see uh, Google delete it as well so since mine is in here I don't have to worry about it alright so close this out so what you want to do on your keyboard hit Windows key and R to bring up the run button and then you want to type this in appwiz dot cpl and then hit enter this is only bringing you to your programs and features if you know a quicker way you can use your way as well alright so what I want to look up is uh, Firefox first so I click on Firefox and uninstall it next and then bam it's uninstalled um, and then if you're doing Google Chrome same thing hit remove so 
So you want to install both of your browsers. Okay, so once the both of your browsers are done, close out of uh, your programs and features. Now open up your file explorer again. Go to this computer, C drive. And now we want to go to program files in the in your 32-bit. Uh, any traces of uh, Google Chrome or Firefox in here, you want to get, get rid of them. So I have Google here, so I'm going to right click and delete it. Uh, there's no Mozilla, so if you see Mozilla here, just delete it. Let's go into the regular folder. There's nothing in there, so all traces are gone. And just empty your recycle bin. Okay, so since we don't have uh, any browsers except Internet Explorer, you have to use Internet Explorer. For the Windows 10 users, you can use um, you can use uh, Windows Explorer Edge, uh, basically uh, Microsoft Edge's new uh, Explorer. If you are using uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8, just use uh, the regular Internet Explorer. All right. So what we want to do is in the URL, you want to type in nine night dot com okay and then uh, just click on Chrome or Firefox if you use both click on both um, I, I use both so I'm going to download both of them then hit get installer All right then hit run and then you just have to wait for this to go through Okay guys, so once that's done, uh, just hit close, and then close out of this. And now, let's open up our browser. Uh, for Firefox, don't do anything. Now, as you can see, it opens up without the infection in the background. Um, I'm going to import my bookmarks. Uh, just hit the Alt, Bookmarks, then you're going to go Show All Bookmarks import restore choose file this is the file that we created open it okay now if you want to show your bookmarks toolbar just go here uh, you go to view toolbar and then bookmarks toolbars and you see mine's come back alright if you want to set your home page all you gotta do is go to options bam mine's usually google Bam. And that's it. Uh, for Firefox, that's it. Uh, for my Chrome users, let's go to Chrome. And as you can see, Chrome opens up perfectly normal again. Um, only thing is if you do see if you do see it come up with a different uh, home page on Chrome just close this out delete the desktop icon delete the icon down here as well so unpin it then you want to go to the, the file explorer you want to go to this computer C drive then you want to go to program files 32 bit and then go to Google, Chrome, Applications, and open it up from here. And now if it comes up clear here, that means those uh, just those links are infected. So just then what you want to do is you can just drag this to your desktop. If you right-click, send to desktop, and then right-click, and then ping to uh, Task Manager, you'll have it down here too. So that will I'll fix that issue if you're having that issue after if you did this reset as well. So other than that, that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave comments below. Um, also, I wanted to you guys to look at uh, the new. Um, it's not really new, but Malwarebytes has like a kind of an antivirus program. If you go to, if you go to Google. dot com and type in Malwarebytes. 
they also have a, a protection program for twenty four and ninety five. Basically, this will protect your browsers. It will do. You can schedule scans to do every every week. It's a pretty good, unique tool that I usually recommend to people. Um, it's only twenty five bucks for like a year. You can't beat that. Um, so. Uh, if you have any questions, leave uh, your questions down below. If you want to purchase this, I have a link in my description down below, and you can purchase it, okay? You guys have a good one. Uh, please like and subscribe. Still trying to get up to 100,000. Nowhere near it, but <laughs> we'll get there soon. Thank you. Have a good one.